So this is a way I make cheap clothes for my dolls. Um, as you can see, Sprog here is demonstrating one. Um, see the patches. Now each patch that I've bought here only costs 99p from China on eBay. And I've put it on a tiny baby Primark bodysuit, just plain white. We got three for two pounds thirty. So very cheap. I got this patch from Typo. Less diets, more donuts. This one was more expensive. As you can see. Um, more expensive than the actual clothes. But this is to make clothes that are individual to you, your doll. But for cheaper than you would get from TK Maxx, even Next, etc. Now I don't iron these on, you can iron them on but I don't because I find that they always fall off because uh, I use them on jackets as well. So I sew them and you don't need a hell of a lot of sewing knowledge to do this and that's why this is such a universal idea of how to make custom outfits or just be cheap. You need to have pins. Or even if like you don't have pins, like you completely sewing novice you don't really buy pins you can have safety pins you just find out where you want this so on it kind of center and you pin it to the vest. You can use one pin, you can use as many pins as you want. I just use two, one for top, one for bottom. Wait a minute, I'm getting there. It's still early for me here. And I'd invest definitely with patches a very big needle thick one and it's got a big eye as well on the top so it's easy to thread but the reason you want like a thick one is because the patches are really thick material big needle gets through them better won't break or bend, etc. So for the sewing part, I have thread that's a similar kind of colour, pink's pink. And then this is nice if you want to add more sewing later on, that, that's if you have a sewing machine you can add details with uh, contrasting thread uh, which I'll show you later
but this is the simple one. You just want to thread your needle then bring it so it's like a loop two strands and then you just knot them together I don't know if you're seeing this You want to do that a few times, same knot, you know, on top of the previous knot that we've done to make it a bigger knot so it won't go through the fabric with your needle. So it's like a big loop. You want the knot at the end. You want to start from the inside you want to put your needle through the vest, through the patch on the little edge, the kind of border put it through, so that's gone through the vest and the patch it will move around a bit but don't worry. Then you want your needle just through the vest parallel to where you put it through the patch. So this one is just through the vest. You pull it, make sure it doesn't snag the pin, pull it and you've made your first stitch and that tacks it on. You do that all the way around and then it should be secure. And to finish your sewing you do a knot at the back. So that's one thing and I'll show you what I mean about the contrasting thread. So now you've put your patch on. I'm going to tell you about the contrasting thread. It's just to kind of tie the patch in more with the outfit. I've put my sewing machine on number two. It's a zigzag but very very close together zigzag. Um, it takes longer on the machine to do so it's slower than if your machine was doing a straight stitch and that can often make you want to push the material to make it go faster or you think oh it's not going through the sewing machine it is just let the sewing machine guide you following the seam that's already there. Lie your material as flat as possible. Actually, wanting to stop there. So you can see it's making this 
line. You can do it in any colour you want, which is really nice. This is a nice simple thing to do. I'm going to do the back as well, like I've done on the bottom. And then I'll show you what it looks like on Sprog. So Sprog's already in this one I've done earlier today. With two patches on. Just remember to cut off any thread. Left. She's a very tiny sprog. They are a very, very tiny, tiny baby. Very tiny. So these are tiny baby from Primark, as I said before. And they're still too big, really. But it means she can wriggle around in them. They can wriggle around in them. I don't know the gender, by the way. I know I keep on saying she or he or whatever I say, but I can't tell. Um, me and my fiance have discussed this and, uh, well, Sprog's an alien. And I don't know what genders this little one has on their planet, their species. Could be anything, could be a new type of gender, sex, whatever you want to call it. All I know is that we love this little one. And I love crafting for them, making them new clothes. What do you think, Sprog? Eh? What do you think? I think they like it. 